So you may have been playing the oh so popular Minecraft, but there seems to be a problem though. This game is on the PC, and I've noticed many of the players of this game are console gamers. Therefore, they aren't so used to the mouse and keyboard setup of most PC games. I see no problem in that, so therefore in this tutorial, I will show you how to use an Xbox 360 controller with the game Minecraft. So what you need to make this happen is basically a wired Xbox 360 controller. If you don't have a wired one and have one of those more fancy wireless ones then you're not out of luck. All you need is to buy an adapter that Microsoft provides for around twenty to forty dollars depending on where you get it. I will put links in the description on where you can get these adapters. So the first thing you do actually is on the computer. You install the drivers for the Xbox 360 controller. Fortunately I already have these drivers installed so all I need to do is plug in my Xbox 360 controller. I'm not going to be using it right now, so I'm just going to leave it on the floor. Now I'll be going to the computer, I'll be showing the steps on how to do it. So once you're inside and got your um, controller and drivers all set up, it's all plugged in, it should uh, show up somewhere um, here. It will install It'll install the drivers for you, I'm pretty sure. So once you got, in, uh, got inside, you, you download a program called XPatter. Um, I already have it um, installed. I, this is the free version XPatter 5.3, which I'll put a link in the description for. But you can also download um, the pay version, which I have. Um, I'm not so sure about the free version, but I'll, I'll be working on that. So you download this program. I'll put a link in the description. And um, I'll be also putting links onto um, the, the actual script. So you're right. So basically what XPatter does is... Okay, I'm sorry. I have it open. I have the old version open. Okay, so basically, what what XPatter does, you can map um, you can map controllers to the keyboard. So right here, I have a Call of Duty 4 script because Call of Duty 4 doesn't have pre-configured um, uh, gamepad controls. So I also made one for Minecraft. And you can edit it in any way you want, but I will be putting a link in the description on uh, my controls. So basically, um, the first thing you actually do is you have to set up this picture I got off of their website. But you set up the controller. Um, I'll probably give you everything, you know, the, the pictures, the controller script. And then you just set every button. I have did that all already, um, every button of the controller. You set down to where it is. and. Yeah, basically, put all together. So, <laughs> I have um, you when you want to change um, uh, actual controller thing, majigger, like that. <laughs> you go click on the button right there. So if I want to make the Y button E, I go in here and you basically click E, and it's set to E. There's a bunch of cool other stuff you can do. Um, you could search XPatter tutorials, but basically I have a Minecraft script. So in this Minecraft script, your left and right bumpers change the item you're using, which is um uh, like your you can switch from your pickaxe to your sword with these right left right button bumpers. Um, right trigger serves as the left left click. Um, left trigger serves serves as the right click. Kind of gets confusing, but that's how it actually works on the PC. E which is um opens up my in inventory I have my inventory set to E and Q which is set to X will drop your item control is set to B since um I'm used to Call of Duty controls I set my crouch to um B and I set my um jump to space and then right here you can actually right click this little thing right there or not right click you just and then you can make it just set it to mouse right here mouse normal and it'll basically um, set your analog stick to the mouse. Um, you can go to the settings up here, and you can change your dead zones. 
you could change um you could change the way that um here mouse settings you could change your speed because unfortunately um since it is being mapped to the mouse you won't be having aim assist so you'll be having to um set the speed and things like that yourself and you can set right here click on also this little analog stick and then there'll be a little um uh wrench right there and you click wasd which is the movement buttons for minecraft and because it's being mapped to digital buttons you won't be getting um analog control even though it's mapped to an analog stick so basically you can't walk with this um no matter how far you push it it's always gonna run at the same speed and um, there's not really any settings you need to change. I set the back button to F5, which is um, the third person. I set the up on the D-pad to F1, which is um, you turn off the HUD. And I set the escape to start because that's to pause. So you can edit you where you want. I'm going to put the script in the description. But basically, it's, you run it. So um, um, I'm going to... I'm going to show a video right after this of me playing Minecraft with an Xbox 360 controller. So we'll be getting to that. So if you got confused on how I explained the controls for uh, my little script, um, I'm going to demonstrate right here in my Xbox 360 controller. And um, basically, so as you can see right here, the left, uh, the right analog stick controls the mouse. I like the look. So um, if we go into the single player, um, you have to use the mouse for this, the actual mouse. Um, well, you have to left click. You could left click like that with the right trigger. But, okay. Basically, like that. So, um, I'll go into a really cool, um, where is it? Epic Cool Mountains. Ha! Huh, this is actually a pretty cool world to have. So, as you can see, the mouse. Uh, that's the look. I don't have any items. How about we um, click on this? Um, what did I set it to? Uh, right click. Okay, so right trigger is right click. Um, still getting kind of used to this myself. So escape is um, start button. So right click. I'll put this here. I'll uh, grab my sword and drop it down there. Um, it's a little. The brightness is a little too high, but you get the idea. So I can go out, open this door. So I can basically do whatever Minecraft needs, except I'm an Xbox 360 controller and. Without aim assist, this is pretty pretty hard. But you know, some of you really prefer the controller, so I basically made this. So this is my little house I made. I'm both showing off the controller and showing off my house. So I could walk out. I set um, my Y to my inventory. I set my X to drop. I set my B to crouch, and I set my A to jump. Um, can't really jump in here. Um, my B crouch is actually a toggle. Um, same for F1, so that that controls my up the up on the D-pad um, controls the HUD. The back button moves it to third person, and bumpers switch weapons. I should have got another weapon. How about um I break this right here? So but bumper switches items. So, um, to demonstrate, I will kill this chicken. Die, chicken. See, I'm still getting used to this. I'm not good with control. I'm better with mouse and keyboard. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. So, um, if you like the script, if you need any, um, questions, comments, and concerns, you could, uh, comment in, uh, in my video, and that's basically it. So, I'll see you, I'll see you next time, folks.